today's lesson, we're gonna look at B.B. King's legendary Live at the Regal album. This is one of the most iconic blues albums of all time, and there's so much great guitar playing on this record. I feel like I could literally spend hours talking about all the great things B.B. plays on this record. But for today, we're just gonna to touch on three things that were signature parts of his playing in this era. And to demonstrate, I'm gonna cover solo sections from three different songs. Let's get into it. So first up, I wanna talk about an idea that BB uses all over the place on this record. And this is the idea of using the minor third and the major third together in a line. Particularly these types of licks where he goes, right? This is in the key of B flat and I'm playing the root, the minor third, the major third, and then bending sort of a minor pentatonic blues lick. But this idea of going from the minor third to the major third is something you'll hear all over the place on this record, and it's really a signature of his style at this time. So to demonstrate, I'm gonna play a little section of the solo to the opening track, Every Day I Have the Blues, which is a shuffle in the key of B flat. And you'll hear how he uses these types of licks to great effect. So next up is another very simple note choice that gets used a lot on this album. And this is going from the minor third to the second interval, things like this. This is a sound you hear BB use a lot on this record. And a great example of this is in the opening solo to Please Love Me, which uh, is another shuffle in the key of E flat. And he plays this line. So really using that movement from the minor third to the second interval um, within this uh, kind of box pattern around this E flat chord. So I'll play the solo section um, to that tune and you can see and hear how he's using those two notes um, and really leaning on that in this solo section. So finally, I wanna talk about another idea that BB uses a lot on this record, and that's the concept of using a two minor chord over the five chord, or outlining the notes of a two minor chord in place of the five chord. So a great example of this is in the solo to the tune Sweet Little Angel, which is a slow blues in the key of C sharp. And when it goes to the five chord, this G sharp chord, he plays a line that's outlining the sound of a D sharp minor chord. So he plays. Right, and in fact, that's actually outlining the notes of like a D minor nine sound. Right, and the reason this works so well, if you look at this G sharp nine chord voicing, this kind of common blues chord voicing that we all use, you can see right on top, the upper structure triad of that chord is a D, uh, D sharp minor triad, right? So you can play these things um, out of that two minor chord. Right, and they work really well in place of a five chord, right? So he does that a few times on this record and it was sort of a signature thing of his playing in this era. So I'll play that solo section from Sweet Little Angel and you can hear how that line sneaks in there over the five chord. <laughs>
All right, guys, hopefully this lesson was helpful for you. Definitely go check out B.B. King's Live at the Regal album if you're not familiar with that record. It's really one of the greatest electric blues guitar records ever made. And so much of my playing, so many things that many of the great electric blues players that you love, um, we've all gotten things from that record. It's a fantastic album. So if you want uh, the tabs or the backing tracks from this lesson, check out my Patreon page. And until next time, Take care and happy practicing.